here today with uh, Linda O'Neill from LIC, and uh, Linda has agreed to speak at the Positive Farmers Conference 2015, and her session will involve uh, talking about the uh, high fertility challenge, and her specific topic is lifting profits through improved six-week calving. Um, Linda, just give us a brief background on um, elements of um, compact calving. Yeah, I will be covering um, on in the prof of uh, the Positive Farmers Conference about herd management and fertility. So what I will be discussing with farmers is the amount of uh, fertility that's within your control inside your farm gate. So I call them the eight ingredients of the fertility cake. And we'll go through each one of them individually, discuss the opportunities for farmers to improve their situation. And actually, my big thing will be for each farmer in the audience to find what area is the greatest opportunity on his home farm to work on. And if you pick two ingredients of those cake, for the next 12 months, I've got a real focus on it. So that will be his area of opportunity to get good herd improvement. Okay. And from your experience going out to farmers and advising them? So what I'm finding around the country nationally is quite a variation. But one or two areas, I suppose, that would really stand out to me will be young stock management. There's huge opportunity there to actually put in focus a plan to rear your young stock properly in terms of reaching target weights set a target replacement rate. We do know that young stock eat into cash flow on dairy farms, so it's so important to rear them properly. Moorpark tells us it's an average around 1,500 euro to rear a replacement heifer, so we, she must enter the herd at the correct weight or you're losing performance and losing fertility. Because in fact, a replacement heifer is probably halfway through her second lactation before you're getting a return, so she needs to stay in the herd. And it's hugely important that they get up to target. Another one I would see on farms probably um, as an area of opportunity would be heat detection. We're in an expanding dairy industry at the moment. New staff coming on farms, it's hugely important that um, they're trained properly and competent in what they're doing. So what I would work with farmers on that is your pre-breeding is a great time to actually take your staff out into the paddock, spend a bit of time with them, give them the responsibility and let them do it. But you can also monitor from the parlour what's actually going on as well before you ever actually inseminate a cow. So in an expanding industry, heat detection is probably an area that we do need to improve on okay. in dairy herds. And what were the two, two, or two or three key points there that you would uh, focus on when you visit a farm? Two or three key points, I suppose. What I would see with farmers is there are certain farmers are not even using heat detection aids. So there is a lot of aids out there in terms of tail pain, scratch cards. Use something that you feel you're happy with. So you can try one or two of those during the pre-breeding period. So um, something to help you, it would be fantastic on that. And they, they, they would actually incur a very limited capital cost as well. Correct, because the return, like for every heat you miss, you're, it's roughly costing you 200 euros. So in terms of using an age, you're talking about 50 to 60 cent a cow. So it's a small investment for a high return. Spoke earlier, uh, your paper contains a uh, focus on the lifting profits through improved six-week calving interval. Can you just maybe highlight a few figures that um, are obtainable to farmers if, if they put this program into practice? Yeah, and, and that's the real, you know, that's how I get good buy-in from farmers when you actually can put the economics on, on the program. So what I would do with farmers, for example, let's take a 100 cow herd, for example. So if you had a 100 cow herd and you improve your six-week and calf rate by 10%, so like farmers going to say, well, what's that 10% worth to me? So a 10% improvement on a very conservative milk price. I work it in terms of days of milk. So I work... Just, just what, what conservative milk price would you be just using? I'm using a, a conservative milk price of in around 21, 22 cent a litre, and that's just uh, solely used for modelling purposes. We can work with today's price, which every farmer will say he'll always calculate out today's price afterwards as well. So on a conservative milk price, it's worth about 2,500 and a 100 cow herd to improve your six-week and calf rate by 10%. So that's worth quite a bit. So then... That's one improvement. And again, that, again, again, that's with limited capital That's input. That's limited capital. Um, it's just going through the management factors all year round and setting improvements on there from there. Um, another one would be if you're going to drive a high six-week in calf rate, naturally we're hoping we're going to have a better empty rate at the end of the season. So we can do a gap calculator on that as well. And what that is, the difference between a cow leaving your herd as an empty or you having the option to sell an in-calf animal. And that's roughly on a 100 cow herd, that's worth about over 3,000 euro again. So put the two together, there's quite a lot up for grabs. There's so that you're talking 5,500? Minimum, up for grabs. And that's actually only the, the really what you actually see in terms of revenue coming into you. There's other improvements as well in terms of managing your farm. Cows calving at the right time, you know, labour input is, is easier. 
young stock are born at the right time, animals are not playing catch up. I could spin off numerous other factors that you can put into that as well, but they're just harder to actually to put a value on them. But the real ones are empty rate and improved days in milk. You can really put a, a financial figure on those. People should be very motivated in trying to attempt to achieve this when there's that amount of money to be made with very limited capital input. Correct. I find that the six-week in calf rate is probably one of the main KPIs for any farmer's business. As I said there, it just sets up your farm. Cows are calving at the right time when grass is available. Um, like if a cow loses one or two months in milk production, you're not going to make that up at the end of the season. You know, So it just sets up your whole business in terms of calving pattern, young stock management. Actually, and a big one is finish calving before you start breeding. That's another huge one as well on farms, you know, because it takes on average a cow roughly um, 42 days to recover from calving to breeding. So that's a huge area there as well. It just simplifies your whole farm system. So yes, it should be a very interesting day. And I think people will be very anxious to hear your your um, detailed talk on the, on the breeding topic. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.